to me. We've eaten together. You eat? Ah. That simple faith, do you trust? In that relation with Christ, basically that's what happens. We're standing up here, and we just fall, and Christ catches. You don't know. You think that you don't see no physical body, but you just fall, and he grabs hope. That's that faith in Christ, that he is the only hope that you have. And so he says, look, we know that salvation is by faith alone. But guess what? Though you say you have faith in having a worse can faith say, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled. Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needed to the body. What doth it profit? We know that salvation is by faith alone. Then he says that this inward faith is going to lead to outward action. What doth it profit means, what advantage is it if you say you have faith and someone's in need and you don't do anything? Hey, man, you got these, you know, persecution, you got these people, they don't have no food. Struggling, destitute, poor. And they come up, they hungry, you walk by, love the Lord, Jesus is good. Oh, Jesus is good. God, and you eat a, a big turkey, fried turkey leg. Jesus is good, Jesus is good. And they sitting there, ain't got no food, you just waiting. How you doing? We poor and destitute. Well, that's good, Jesus is good, Jesus is good. He says, what good is your faith if you don't do anything? Verse 16, depart in peace. That's what they, in, the, in those days, that's what they used to tell the people when they meant be quiet. You know, okay, you know, you're talking to somebody nowadays and, and, you, and you just want to move on. You go, yeah, don't. What they said is depart in peace means in the conversation, I'm moving on. James is telling them, believers, you are to be different in everything that you do. See, it, 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 it's, it's tough. Because for so long they believe, you know, faith in Christ, salvation comes from simple faith. You just believe. Yes, you believe, but there's more. You're going to be different. He says, Paul says, he has no deeds. Does that type of faith save? Meaning, can faith save him? You're not doing nothing. You said some words. Are you really saved? See, this thing, the family of God, there's got to be evidence. The evidence comes from what you do. Scripture says, by your fruits. See, faith without actions is not saving faith. Because it's inward will be seen outward. Many people have faith. Every, you know, everybody says, do you believe in worship? You believe in God? Everybody raise their hand, do you believe in God? It doesn't mean nothing. Every, every, scripture here tells you, even the, the demons believe that. There's got to be more. So he says here, hey, their need, you walk by, and you don't help them out. What have you done? You know, that's, that would be, you know, really, that would be like coming up to church. You know, church gets out, somebody got a flat tire, it's snowing, it's raining. Yo, 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 he got a flat tire, it's snowing, it's raining. She out there struggling, turning the tire. And everybody in church is way, you okay, yo? No, I need, well, I got to go get to the restaurant, yo. See you later. says here, no, it's got to be different. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's more than just the words that you say. It's no different than our relationships with individuals, with your wives, girlfriends, or whoever you got. I love you, I love you, I love you. Those are nice words. But if you smack them upside the head and do whatever, guess what? <laughs> Obviously, it's just some words. You don't love them. So he says here, hey, this you're, under the, you're in the midst of persecution. You got to remember, they're in persecution. They're losing stuff. People are after them. They're losing their homes. They're getting persecuted. No matter what's taking place as a believer, you are to be different because of the things that you believe. Mm -hmm. So he says here, verse 17, even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you thy faith by my works. He said, there are people back then that said, look, man, I got faith. I got faith. I believe. He said, well, what do you do? Well, no, I got faith. I believe. I ain't got no works, but I believe. And the other person says, look, I was showing my faith by what I do. In what essence, what he's saying for the believer, for you and I, that ultimately we really shouldn't have to speak too much because they should be able to watch the things that we do and say, that's person.
person is different. That means that you can't, you know, you know, being around a teenager and so on and, 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 and you see different things on TV. You can't, you know, you can't be up there one minute singing, oh, I love her. And she beep, beep, beep. And I love her. And beep, 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 beep. And beep, beep. I just, I just, I just came today to say, thank you, Deacon. God is good. He saved my soul. Now here goes my song again. I beep, 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 beep. You can't do both of those things. Don't tell me that you know God, and then the same time you beep, 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 beep. Oh, BET 2010. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yes, God is good. The Savior of my soul. Let me do my song, baby. I want to get up on you. Beep, 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 beep. But I love it. It don't work. You can't do both. If you know Christ, it's got to be different. We, 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 what, what is happening too, you know, we, we, we teach, we've been te we tell people all the time, pray, pray, say these words. And we say, you say these words, you're good to go. And you can walk, you, you, you say the words and just go home and live your life. And we say, well, you know, they got to get better. They're going to develop better. You know, eventually they'll get to where they need to be. In the word of God, anybody who ever came to Christ, their life changed drastically. They weren't perfect. But it wasn't taking eight to ten years to make a difference. They changed. And those who weren't truly saved, they just kept doing the same things they always did. See, you can say words. I imagine that Judas said words. He probably the great. Judas walked with the disciples, right? 